Hello, Porn With Heart family. We are here with the one and only Cameron Hayes, bartender here at Chatterbox slash Slipper Clutch, 4th and Broadway, downtown Los Angeles. What brought you into Porn With Heart? Which bar did you start off in and what position were you doing? I've worked in bars for a few years and after the pandemic, things kind of slowed down at one of the bars I was at. So I was looking for more work and hit up a friend of mine, Bill, who I didn't know when I hit him up, but he was working at Slippery Clutch and Chatterbox. And I asked him if he if he had any way to, to get me in. And he was like, yeah, come through. And yeah, he got me in and the rest is kind of history. I've been here now, I think like eight months now, not quite a year, but yeah. Did you start off as bartender or did you bar Yeah, I came in as first? a bartender after getting some experience at the other spot I'm at. Can you recommend a favorite song for us today? I'm going to sound like a huge hipster, but uh, <laughs> there's this guy I really like called uh, Don Gibson. and But yeah, he spells it D-A-U-G-H-N, Gibson. Any of his songs off of the All Hell album, but maybe like A Young Girl's World, he's great. If you don't like country, check this guy out because you'll probably end up being like, oh, I didn't know country could sound like that. It's, just, it's a really cool sound, yeah. Where would you like to wake up tomorrow? I mean, I do love to travel. I've been fortunate to um, go to some cool places uh, throughout like Europe and like South America. And um, I feel pretty good about traveling. I feel like, I feel like kind of corny, but maybe wake up and be at like a film festival for like a film I just was in and be like showing that off at like Sundance or like South by Southwest, like that to me is like what I want to be doing right now. And that would be pretty, pretty, pretty cool to do that, yeah. And that's happening. You wrote and directed and acted in your own short recently, right? Yeah, yeah. So part of what got me into bartending, or if not like, I mean, everything that got me into bartending was acting and wanting to make films. And it's great, you know, there's a lot of actors and in the bar industry for just the flexibility you get and through being here I've fell in love with it and but acting is has always been kind of the main goal and yeah so I, in order to be I think like to be an actor you want to also be like making your own opportunities for yourself and sometimes that means like writing and directing your own stuff so I hadn't done much comedy and I wasn't getting much opportunity in comedy so I wrote this like comedy to kind of give myself that opportunity. And it's almost done. I'm hoping to get it into some festivals. I don't know, I'm not gonna like say South by Southwest or something like that, but even just like a little festival would be, would be pretty cool. What are you most grateful for? My health, my friends, my family, to be in Los Angeles. Like I truly love it here. And I have a friend that just moved to this area from my hometown, which is up near Sacramento. And I was like, what took you so long? And they kind of looked at me like, what do you mean? Like, and, I, and they're like, it's not easy to like, just pick up and leave and be here. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Like that, I felt pretty like foolish for like asking them that. And it's true, it's like, it's, we are really lucky to be here. It's like, you know, the, so many opportunities are here and the weather's amazing. And yeah, I think just to like be in a, in a place, uh, in a good place, in a great city with friends and, and family that check in on me and with a, a great bar family as well. And yeah, it's, you, you feel the love here and, and it's great to have like support from so many different like angles in my life currently. Of the pouring with heart shared values is the one that speaks to your heart? Oh man, they're all, they're all great. Like truly, I love to stay weird. I love that that made it in there. <laughs> But I guess to give like a better answer, uh, failing forward, it always kind of stood out to me because when I first heard it, I was like, ooh, what does that even mean? And we kind of like elaborated on that in one of our meetings here. And I think failing forward is, is really good and, and, and clever. And it allows you to kind of put the stress aside of like, oh, I'm gonna make a mistake and like just do your best, put your best foot forward and when you do fail you know improving on that and how can you just take it as more of a lesson than just like a oh I failed I suck it's like <laughs> failing with like grace and it's okay to have those failures because without them you sometimes can't have the, the success they go together so you chose a little something for us to be able to do a cheers for each other 
What did you choose and why did you pick it? I went with uh, Four Roses bourbon. This is just a great bourbon whiskey. It really just goes down well. I love that it has the twist off on top. I find that so funny because it really is just such a great whiskey. And I think normally when, you, when I see like a twist off, I run the other way. And this was one that I had it and I was just like, wow, like this is hilarious. Like it's just such, it's too good of a whiskey to, to have the, 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 the screw off top. But yeah, if you've never had Four Roses, you got to try it. It will probably be your new favorite whiskey. <laughs> well, cheers. Yeah, cheers. For each other. Thank you for taking the time, Cameron. For each other. Cheers.